Yes, hello, is anybody out there? If so, welcome to Barely Making Rent. Um, I am your host, the Dab Ninja. This is Bradley's Bullets, and with me we have the Baked Banana. Oh, yeah, sorry, I was reading the chat. Um, how's it <laughs> going, everybody? It's the Baked Banana. I'm here for a little bit before... I go on an adventure myself. He has uh, his own side quest he has to go on in a couple hours, yeah. but um, yep. this is basically... Go... Oh, go ahead. I was going to say, got to slay the dragon. He has to go slay the dragon, fight the death claw, purge the rice fields. Um, but no, um, this is basically going to be an extended Red Dead Redemption stream today. Um... I'm kind of unhappy with the portion of the story I'm at currently, so I'm just going to try to truck through a couple of the missions, just get them done, so we can move on to the next part. Um, because I feel like Rhodes is kind of a dead zone for me, because I can't really pull out my weapons, except for, like, outside of the town, or away from... Because essentially it's like one-third of the roads area you can't use your weapons in unless you're on the back roads and stuff. And it's just like, okay, let's just let's just do this and get it done with. Um so I can go back to being a low honor horrible person. 
Don't worry, it'll all make sense in the end. It's called Red Dead Redemption for a reason. And by damn, am I going to live up to that expectation. I'm gonna need a lot of redeeming and a lot of redemption. It's Red Dead Redemption, also known as Rooter Teeter Shooter 2. Yep. Rootin' Tootin' Cowboy Shootin' 2. The video game. No, don't worry. They'll just make this into a movie eventually, because, you know, Cowboys Westerns, it's oh, going yeah, to work. You know Spaghetti Westerns are going to have to make a comeback at some point. You like Cowboys? Yeah. Do you like when a plan fails? Yeah. Do you not we have need money? more money. Yeah. And I got a movie for you. Rooter, shooter, shooter. The movie. Long hair and cleaning guns. So uh, I'm going to be drinking a lot of hair tonic this episode. Um... I'm going to spend a good time in the first, like, I don't know, 10, 20 minutes cleaning my guns, refilling my ammo, um, the whatnot, because I feel like that's kind of essential when you first load into Red Dead Redemption every time, is you take care of that stuff right away, and then you go do what you're going to do. How's it going, dude? Oh, sorry. That's been stuck in my head for weeks, and I don't think it's ever going to go away anytime soon, so, uh, all right, Arthur. Let's go, girl. Ah, that long hair. So luxurious. Easy now. Easy now. I need to set a waypoint. Wait, waypoint? Not the stagecoach. Uh, just the center of town, really. Waypoint points the way. It does. Oh. Yep. Can it show you the way? Yeah. Sure, why not? Ah, such a nice town. Or area. I wonder what random encounters we're gonna get today. Oh, crap. Oh, oh. Sergeant Cassidy is going to be coming back to us. <laughs> Heck yeah. He's like, I got my ticket. I'm like, cool. When he's like, should be around 9 p.m. West Side time. And I was like, cool. He's like, yeah. So that's looking about like 1980, May 11th of the third year. And I'm like, hmm. I'm like, is that military talk? He's like, yes. It's like six o'clock at night, right? I have no Eighteen hundred. Because twelve hundreds. Twelve hundreds noon. Yeah, yeah that, that'd it? be that'd be six. All right, we're here at the shop. I'm the police officer of this town. Back again? Yeah. All for sale, except the floorboards. Okay. Better not be stolen. Oh, I don't right? want to sell you anything. I want to buy stuff from okay. you. Okay. Take a browse. Take a browse. I like that there's two ways to buy things. You can buy everything from the catalog, mm -hmm. or you can w walk around the store and buy shit. I think the way walking around the store is kind of cool, but I also like that they give you a catalog if you can't find what you're looking for. This dude's just, like, anxious that I'm buying all of his ammo. He's just like, shh, 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 
Mm. What are you gonna do with all that ammo? It's like I don't know yet. Uh, Mail will rob you with it. <laughs> uh, it's just in there. It's like yeah, that's funny. No, we're down south. We don't need a coat. Right, they give you so many coats. It's like my guy. We're in like Louisiana to New freaking New Mexico. What makes you think I want a jacket down here? Oh, why don't you want a jacket? It's 100 fucking degrees out, and it's muggy. No, that's exactly right, though. Is that damn hobo slouched outside my door again? I keep telling him to move on. He'll put off my customers. Oh, man, that, that sounds like a personal problem there, dude. Um, okay. There's that. How's your friend getting on with those new clothes? Not something a lady should be wearing, in my opinion, but each to their own, I suppose. I'd be very surprised if you had a lady, my friend. Well, uh, well, not right now, but I've had my share. Anyway. Uh-huh. Got what I need. <laughs> that guy was just, like, telling me his personal life, and I was like, I do not care, my man. Fascinating. Let me, uh, just... Drink a hair tonic real quick. Ah, delicious. I don't want no trouble. No, 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 please don't go, please don't go. <laughs> no. We'll worry about that another time. Why, hello. Don't think I've seen you before. Some ammunition's on the shelves, but I keep the guns locked. Take a look at the catalog and I'll pull out anything you'd like to see. What do we have for Take accessories? Oh, obviously I need to get those. Okay, here comes the fun part. Now this should be A bandolier. Fun. Uh, customize. Clean it. Looks like you're taking care of that weapon. Good to see. If you're serious about your shooting, you'll want to add sights to your gun. I know. I got the biggest iron on my hip. That'll help, I'm sure. One thing I do also like about the base game, it's like I can customize my guns without having to spend gold. That yep. crap. Something you get for free in the base game, you have to pay extra for. Which is to me another scam. That gun seems to be well taken care of. He's here to do some business with Baker and I on his hip. Interested in engraving yeah, something? Make that weapon your own. There's that. Boom. Hey, you know that gun could use a few choice parts. Really make a sing. Yeah, I know, my dude. You don't have to, t like, say something every time. I know what I'm here I for. It's going to take me a minute to go through every single weapon I have, but... I already got this blacked out like I wanted. Okay. Varnish. And this is where we get to put personal touches on it. There we go. Well, if that gun ain't shining, glad you take care of what's yours. You're right. Got some nice parts for that gun, you know. You'll notice the difference.
engravings to Art Nouveau with silver because it makes it pop a lot more. Varnish. I prefer the lighter ones. Ooh, that was. I outfitted the sheriff and all his kind of nice. You know? Yes, sir, I did. Looks like you're taking care of that weapon. I don't like that Good weapon, so. Which one? The uh, carbine repeater, you know, the base rifle that you get. Do to get that oh, yeah. Just your it's pretty basic. Let me know. I can put some sats on. It's equivalent to me of the varmint rifle. It's like the first gun you get in New Vegas. Improvement. I guess not really if you have the DLC content, but for the most part, it's like the first gun you really get your hands on, and it's like, wow. That could really Thanks for the garbage. And then they have the audacity to give you a nicer version called the Rat Slayer. That's also garbage. If you spec your character just right, it's actually a pretty good, uh... What do you call it? Gun? Yeah. Now, I do have some foreign-made iron when it's quality. But here in Rhodes, American is preferred. Oh my god. So many. Uh, oh my lord. Oh, 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 that gun seems to be well oh taken care of. Oh hey, Try to go through this as fast as I can, folks. Really I'm sorry. That'll help, I'm sure. Do you know? Do you own all the goods? Not all of them. I just know no, where no. to find a lot of them. So once you, know, you grab them, it some. puts it in your inventory. Or you can find most of the guns. You can find a like good chunk of them. I like the sawed off still in the double barrel. <laughs> So, okay, when we get closer to end game, you'll realize a lot of what I'm packing with me is shotguns. That one's already been well, upgraded. If that gun Glad you take care of what's yours. This is the that other one I need to, to work well on real quick. Much admired in these parts. I can rifle the barrel for you if you'd like. That could really shine with some carbon in it. Okay, that doesn't need to be cleaned. Looks like you're taking care of that weapon. Good to see. That doesn't need to be cleaned. Well, if that gun ain't shining, glad you take care of what's yours. Okay. I'm not gonna lie. Gun, you know. That scope on that gun has always bothered. <laughs> I know, all the scopes kind of bother me. In this you want game. a seeing eyeglass mounted on your gun? What? I'm That's not even I joking you. I got a seeing eyeglass on this gun. It's called the elephant rifle. Well, let's be real, though. The elephant rifle online is pretty damn powerful. You engraving some? Make that weapon your own. That gun seems to be well taken care of. Okay. Been a mite suspicious about the new faces in town. Rose is welcoming to be sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's nice. That's nice. Someone, come on. Read all about it. Okay. Um. Where's the saloon? Get something to eat real quick, and then we'd be on our way. I'm trying this big. 
course, it's at the very end. Yeah. I actually like Road Saloon, so... I just don't like the missions you have to do for roads. I feel like it's a lot of, like, fetch quest stuff. Blend in the hand here and there. Get a move on, will ya? Ah. Okay. We made it. And honestly, the saloon more looks like a just a house. What are you in the market for? I guess it is a house. It's called Ooh, fried house. catfish. Let's do it. Well, I hope you aren't planning to I mean, your guy hasn't got that far yet. Mm. Let's get one more thing of food. I always gotta get two meals, one good one, one, sh you know, one crap one. What's that one? Uh, I think it was basically like, uh, cream of wheat. Ah. Take a shot of whiskey. Wash it all down with. Yep. When it's drinking time in the West, never. Always never drinking. ends. It's always drinking time in the West. Alright. From sun up till sun down. Oh, I can't put my hat on through the uh, menu. Oh, okay. So, uh, what's your horse doing? Yeah. It's okay. He's like trying to see what's going on inside. It's Arthur. Oh, Arthur. Oh, there we go. Uh, you good, girl? And some classic oat cakes. And finally, the hat. There we go. There's Mr. Morgan. I guess he used it. Alright. Is it here? Yes, it is. Cool. Alright, we're here. D does the store keeper creep you, uh, creep you out too risky? The what? The storekeeper and uh, roads. Oh, roads. Yeah. I like everything in roads. Apparently, if you come back to roads, uh, the epilogue. Family, um, it's Pearson. I know, the, I know one of these storekeepers keeps a kid in this cellar. Yeah, I think that's uh, the one I was just at. The one in Rhodes? Yeah, I think it's the gunsmith, actually. I remember there's some kid, though, trapped in one of those. I think there's something similar as well in uh, San Denis. For the uh, fence location there or whatever.
All right, that's the first of uh, many, many, many hair tonics this episode. That is th three that I bought. You got my money? Money. Sure. Did she give anything? Ah, fair enough. For me? Yes. Might I have it? Sure. But it'll cost you. Ah, uh, I can't be bothered. Here. Take it. Oh, thank you, Arthur. You'll... Thank you. You know, this is the first time I've ever done my Arthur Morgan and Shades oh of Brown. Normally, oh, it's always man. Shades of Red and Black. She's... For the longest time, get a kill, it's because to me... What? When you can make black shot. work with anything. Yeah, it's the same with white. Voting. So, like, to me, it's easier to make suits and stuff like that around those. Parts. Because to me, not to say browns are hard, but when you start getting very shades of brown, to me, it's harder to tie them all in. I mean, for the most part, it's like, I think I got like a light brown top and then dark brown pants with like white accents. With the exception of the hat. Fine. Just no more running around with letters. Thank you. Come on. We better get going. Mount your horse. Come on, come on. Yeah. We'll go around the property and take the road to town. Okay. Sounds great. I really like the the stories that they told in this game with like everything from like Arthur meeting people to afterwards to John meeting the people, it's calm. like, it just made the if game feel good. Time, yeah. Shot. I mean, shoot, this is like my fifth or sixth playthrough of it, and it's still, like, one of my favorite games to play. To me, this is a game, I don't know if I ever did, but if it didn't, this game deserves the next gen upgrade. Just because, like, it already looked good, and maintained looking good, but it's like... I think they could almost make it look even better now. I'm prepared to die for the cause. I was just re-optimizing you know it for the Series X and S because I don't know if they ever did. Please. Mm, no, because I think uh, you can get the audio, uh, the auto HDR part regardless. Mm. Certain elements, mostly my family. Penelope, I beg you. I'll tell you what, your friend here can drive the wagon Yeah, for us. season four is the only one that kind of drags for my hero. Miss Calhoun! Miss Calhoun! My friend here says he can drive the wagon. Well, Olive Calhoun! Normally I like to drive myself, but today I feel like a man joining us sends the right message. Well, I ain't never been in a... My hero macadamia. Yep, my hero macadamia not. Us like the sheep, and the folks attacking us like the wolves, and I'm sure you'll feel right at home. Shall we go? Season four is way better if you can binge it. Right, yeah, ladies. no, it really is. We know our song is a good one. And we Why? Because that's like the solid season. No, season four is kind of like a slow, a, a, a slow point. Um, or at uh, least I personally feel season four is a very slow. Same with part of season five. Um. Season 6 definitely picks up. Like, Season 6 kind of saved it for me. Arthur Morgan. Arthur Morgan. Not too quick and not too slow. We need them to hear our voice. Well, they'll hear it all right. Very good. Very good. Mr. Morgan, are you an old friend of the movement? He's just a driver. Why is this man shirtless? Auto. Oh, no. That was weird. His abs and like six pack looked fake. Oh, I know where it is. Voting for women, women's votes. Gotta have Mr. Morgan here. Yes, I said my hero macadamia nut. 
I said Mac My Hero Macadamia, and he's like, yeah, My Hero Macadamia, and I was like, yep. Oh, okay. I stopped on the steps. Alright, ladies, we're here. Yeah, no, I get that. Of us. Yay. For today is the day we begin to live as equal. Wait, no, it's season five, in my opinion. It's slow, not season four, my bad. And equal. This is unnatural. This is nonsense. No, I, I couldn't even understand him. Just as the founding fathers intended. Oh, founding fathers, oh. not founding mothers, you hey, silly you old goat. <laughs> Hey! What the hell you doing here, boy? Keep your voice down. I'm trying to listen to the speech. Hello, darling cousin. Don't you ever speak to me like that. What are you doing here? Listening, I suppose. Go help Bo. His cousin is a moron. Stop them from ruining the speech. Show sure. You learn yourself some manners, cousin. Haven't you got anything better to do? Oh, right oh, you always uh, Bo, where are we just leaving? Follow me, Ronnie. Oh, uh, what? You'll hit me? Oh, come on. Sir, can you not see how idiotic you are? Come on, Bo. Let's go. Quick now. We gotta go before they think twice. Oh, Lord. Follow me. I know a place. It's an old battlefield no one goes to. Land of the future. A land of equality. Oh. Ah. You don't want to go of course back it's a trailing mission. Kirishima's pretty solid. Um, my favorite at that point was probably Lamillion. Just because, I don't know, I feel like he's one of those characters you can't really break his spirit. If that makes sense. Everyone knows about Penelope and you. I know about Penelope and you, and I've been here all at ten minutes. Sooner it's out. The sooner it's resolved. The sooner it's dealt with, you mean. We're dealt with. Our families, the Greys and the Braithwaites. We bury our secrets, and we bury them deep. Your secrets and your treasure. You know, Catherine Braithwaite's got a daughter. No one's seen her in years. She weren't right, you know, and Penelope said... Uh, I, I ain't heard about daughters. I heard about gold. I heard about gold. I fear that's just a story, Mr. Morgan. But I don't know. This is awful. Nobody died. It ain't that awful. My cousins are vindictive bastards. My brothers are vindictive bastards. My cousins are worse. They started it. I know. But you should leave. I will. As soon as I have enough money. When my family, we have money, but I don't. Is your family very rich? Yes, well, I believe so. But uh, they keep me out of the discussions. I have more of a artistic temperament, so. Well, is that what they call it? Yes. Oh, you made a joke. Mm. I really love her. I do. Well, stick around. Maybe you can die for her as well. I thought you were trying to make me feel better. <laughs> Look, I gotta go. Me too. Oh, damn! I'm gonna be late. My uncle is quite as bad as you would imagine. Oh, here, your payment. Thank you. I excuse me. Thirty dollars. Let's go. Okay, girl. Okay, girl. Let's go. I'm not doing that Strauss mission, no. No. I don't wanna.
Chat, I think we know what's about to happen. These guys are trying to stop me. down that way bounty hunters too okay well while we sit here and wait Getting any closer? I can't tell. Is that them? It is. Four. All right. Yeah. And that's all that dealt with. doesn't know where it wants to go. Yep. Yep. You hear that? It's time to eat. I can go for some stew. There we go. Well, we need to refund the supplies. Get that all taken care of. Stash said you knew where that was. They was planning a visit to the Braithwaite place, but John needs to do something for Dutch now, so Hosea wants you to join him instead. Seems to be a lot going on. You're telling me. Okay, thank you. Hurry up! Get a wallet time! Heck yeah, we're getting some stew. The stew is probably immaculate. There's a question mark over here. Uh, 
Oh, no, we're good. We're good. We'll come over here. Hello, Arthur. Hi, Jack. How are hey, you? Jack. You okay? I'm bored. You better not be stealing the collection box. Hi, Arthur. Reverend. Steal? Stealing me? You. No. I was putting money in. How dare you, Mr. Pearson? Well, go on then. Put it in. Go on. Damn it, Pearson. generous of you you're not a nice man mr. Pearson yeah I'm kind of realizing that now too <coughs> contribute give money that okay We'll get the uh, map. I know. Trust me. Because everything I want to do on Red Dead Online, I can just do here on single player, like the hunting and fishing and not getting disturbed by people. Why are you walking around so sad? I'm not sad, just bored. Okay, we've got the chicken coop. We'll get the boat. Okay, now we're gonna let Arthur take a nap. So, how are you liking life as a lawman? What are we doing, Dutch? Well, I think they call it hiding in plain sight. Oh, is that what they call it? Because I got another word for it. Uh, I am sure that you have, but the way I see it, we stick out here either way. Now, we can hide and skulk in the woods. We'll arouse more suspicion than if we act friendly. Yeah, and, and unfortunately, where I have my little uh, camp set up currently is Thieves Landing, and that's a hot spot for griefers, because they just like to camp that town and kill all the NPCs, and it's just not a good spot. Like, I feel like I can't ride through the Red Dead Redemption 1 map without people being hostile and trying to kill me. Mm. 
Mr. Morgan's gonna sleep for 12 hours. Wish I could. Okay, let's see. Player Arthur. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, wait. We do need to cook some of this meat that I have. Start the day off with two pieces of bread. Delicious. Right. Oops, wrong button. Yep, the breakfast of cowboy champions. Two rolls of bread. Delicious. That's one way to make an entrance. Hey, Arthur. Hey, Arthur. Selling it back to where it came from. Why? Well, I ain't got a market for it. They made it. They must have someone to sell it to. <coughs> Stuff looked kind of lonely out here. I think we'll cut ourselves a deal. Uh, I get you. You and Dutch was just doing your duty when you requisitioned it. Now I'm doing mine. All right. I should get going now. I'll leave you fellas to it. Good luck. Thank you, John. We'll see you later. Dutch asked him to look into something to do with the Braithwaite horses, I think. Sure, oh, okay. Show okay, off. let's head out to the Braithwaite's place. You know the way? Yeah, I've been there. So, what exactly are we doing? This is the moonshine we took after blowing up the Braithwaite still, right? I think the good citizens taking the trouble to return their stolen goods deserve some reward, don't you? And it's time to uh, yes. a formal introduction. The drinking like Dutch told us. Look, Where I become a bartender. These two big old plantation houses, and all I keep hearing is they hate each other so much they can't see past it. I know. I've seen it. There's a gray boy and a Braithwaite girl carrying on a secret affair. I've been, well, helping them. The mind boggles. You think they're of use? Not sure. They don't seem too involved in the rest of it, but maybe. But well, maybe. I'm sure there's money in this for us somewhere if we can get in the middle of it. Oh, okay, my horse has a mind of its own. Okie dokie, son. He's back. I was out vacuuming my car. It's all good, my dude. Ah, the most iconic picture right here. here we are. And your friend tells you he doesn't want to come visit no more. It's like, oh, listen, 
All right, telling you again. Are you? What's that in the back there? Moonshine, my fine fellow. A little modest homestead. Yes, little. The man of the house is a lady. Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. May I speak with her? I want to discuss a business opportunity. I mean no harm. The man of the house no is the lady. You may happily shoot me if I do. <laughs> okay, okay. She's at the house. We'll be watching you. You heard the man. Driver, proceed, please. Stuff over. What you want? Found something. Out in the hills. Thought thought maybe you was in the market <coughs> for it. For what? Some liquor. I ain't in the market for what's already mine. The way we see it, it's ours. Well, with us possessing it, and I, I checked all over for the life of me. Man. I couldn't oh, see your man. name. I ain't no man. Oh. Relax, I ain't here to rob you. <laughs> oh, it seems that's easy enough. <laughs> Wanna do a deal? What do you sell that stuff for? Dollar a bottle. You give us 50 cents. It's already ours. Well, look on it as a reward for finding the property. Alternative is we go sell it someplace else. The alternative <laughs> is you get shot. Now, who wants to get shot over a bottle or two of liquor? <laughs> Pay the man. Well, time she gets shot. Oh. Pleasure doing business with you. And listen. Pay the man. We didn't take it. At least not without orders. <laughs> like, like, see, it's funny because I look at that. I'm like, wow. Old Fifty bucks. Gray. Thanks. I know, Back right? then. Back I then. Want... <gasps> In fact, sir, I'm the rich man of What do you mean? I got favor. fifty dollars. There's an extra ten bucks if you do. Drive the stuff into Rhodes. Head over to the tavern run by Mr. Gray and give the stuff out There's for free. There's an extra free. ten bucks for you. Hush now. Just for pouring I drinks. They call that a promotional experience. <laughs> As you wish. Me, man. it's a lot. It's hard to make me move over twenty dollars nowadays. Them? Yeah, I'll, back I'll then, you know. Back then, they're like, I'll do anything for twenty dollars. Right. Next stop. The road saloon. Here we go. Maybe we'll play some cribbage. Heck yeah. So I finally sold those Cornwall bonds. Got close to a thousand for them. I wanted more, but not bad considering how hot they were. Especially after that bloodbath. Does it look like we play cribbage? Oh, not bad. I don't know what cribbage is. Apparently, Cornwall's been pumping a lot of cash. The only thing I know about cribbage is that my parents like to play it. On going after gangs. Gangs like us. Yeah. It's like. That don't surprise me. I don't even know. He don't All even right. know. It's this weird He's board game. You and Dutch with like little stick things. Thing and you gotta move them around the board, but there's dice sure. and yeah, cards involved in it. I don't know how the hell it works. My mom had to explain it to me. It's like Caravan. It just makes no sense to me. We'll need something. I ain't playing dress up. And that's how we play. Do you, you understand know how now? I feel about that. No. Of course you're not. You're you're a clown's idiot brother. Hosea, please. I'm the clown. You're the idiot. Just look sad and keep quiet. Even you can do that, Arthur. Oh, I have to. Uh, yes, we do. We we do, Arthur. <clears throat> Smoke this pipe. Bring your lip forward, just a bit. Squint. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Uh, what about you? Oh, shh, shh. Dang. You can't speak. You're turned idiot. <laughs> Dang. Right? Almost two grand. Fifty dollars back then is almost two grand now. Don't get mad now. That is that is insane. What's that? Fifty dollars in eighteen ninety nine is equal to one thousand eight hundred one thousand eight hundred eighty eight dollars in twenty twenty four. So what's Christ. 
What's $839 back then equal to today? Does that mean Arthur is, like, considerably rich? Honestly, I believe so. Like, not millionaire rich, but for that time... Like, that's... that's mind-boggling. Yeehaw. Make sure we don't crash. Sir, sir, move, please. You almost just got ran over. Thirty-one thousand dollars, my lord. My lord, Arthur is stacked. He's got $31,000 in today money. I'll keep it and stay calm now. Pomona, she loved you so. <laughs> Just a shame you had to strangle her in a rage, right? Grab two cases of that stuff and follow me. mother but it weren't his fault how'd you boys how'd you boys like a couple of bucks i bet you would one for each of you we're in the new trade of advertising which is an american art form about ensuring people buy the correct things i don't know one more dollar it says give us half an hour what harm can we do in half an hour <laughs> go along now enjoy the money come along fenton let's hand out the liquor Handing out the liquor. Let's do it. Gentlemen! Gentlemen! My name is Milton. That's my brother Fent. He's a bit funny. But boy, can he pour drinks fast. Oh, yes. For the next 30 minutes, the drinks in this a bartending mini game. Are entirely free. Beautiful. Yeah. The only rule is that you gotta drink them. So hurry up, put old Fenton to work. Yeah. Don't get him mad, though. His mama made him mad, and we buried her. <laughs> All of it. Ah. Now come up to the bar, everybody. Come on, fellas, it's your lucky day. I'll have one, Billy. A gift. Bounty. It's a shame. Oh. Look, a gift. That's some strong stuff. Well, nice to get Just keep them coming. They're just having a grand old time.
Oh, crap. Quiet libation. You, me. You're the bastards who stole the liquor we was gonna buy. Jump. We're in advertising. Uh, come on in and have a drink. That's our goddamn liquor. An honest mistake. Boys, get him. Oh, 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 no. So fast and so shame. So yeah, people, anyone who was rich back then was considered anyone who made like more than $20 a month. So, yeah. Let's go. And then by the time he finds all those gold bars, oh my god, he'd probably be the wealthiest man in the world. Or get one of them. I don't know how I'm gonna get those two headshots with a sawed off shotgun. That shotgun can't aim. Crap. I know, that's why I prefer the double action. <laughs> That was great. That's one of my other favorite things, dual wielding in this game. Back then, if I was gonna be doing something, I'd just be in the business of like waiting for the bad guys all to kill each other, and then I'd just take all their horses and then just go sell all their horses. <laughs> right. It's like, well, you guys ain't gonna need these anymore, and these actually fetch a nice little penny. So, yeah, I don't have to take these horses from you. Plus, you're dead, so you ain't gonna need them anyway. All right, we're good. Yeah. Remind me never to take up a career. What was it? Advertising. You think that woman set us up? No, I don't think so. Maybe. This place is odd. Uh, I keep seeing those fellas. What's some local uh... militia. Clearly not too happy to have some new competition. I'll go visit old Ma Braithwaite. See what's what. Why? We've been making money. The chest is filling up again, slowly but surely. Part of me thinks we just get ourselves good and lost. But we still need a lot more money before that can happen. So, for now, let me go give old Mrs. Braithwaite some of this moonshine as, well... We still need a lot of money. Peace offering. All right, Dutch. Sure. That was fun, Fenton. We'll make an actor of you yet. <laughs> I'll go speak to Dutch. So, what do you think? About what? 
fine folks around these parts. Oh, real nice. Exactly. On the one side, we have got the Gray family. Scots, degenerates, drunkards, the local nice law. People. You couldn't make this stuff up. Oh my god, I can't stand that guy next to him. I want to punch him in the face. The Braithwaites, moonshiners, hypocritical, both rolling. There's only one character I hate more than Micah. Than Micah? Yes. Ooh. The overseer from Fallout 3 when you come back to Vault 101 and try to help with their problems. So what are you boys thinking? That guy's just a spiteable old man. You don't understand, dude. I told sure. him to, like, shut the fuck up when Mariah was playing it, and she got scared because of just, like, how quick and angry I was about it. And I'm like, no, you don't understand. I hate that man. I, I hate him. Okay, well... Jose's gone back to see that they make a real good, good job of Mike uh, being take the lead a villain now. I sent Sean over to Braithwaite Manor too. Now you can meet up with them. Like I hate Mike more than I hate Dutch. Here at the Gray's place, something to do with the Braithwaite's prize horses. Well, how the hell did we get in at the Gray's place? Sheriff Gray kindly put no, I think like the overseer from that Fallout 3 is a good villain. We gotta Mike is a good villain. That we're on their side. And then we rob them both before they figure out it was us. one thing that's always kind of bothered me about the first game the first red dead is payback for my is payback i don't like the ending i ain't in i don't business i don't like least of being something happened on john son jack well not to say that that's bad but it's like i don't know i feel like now if you will the era of the cowboys kind of like over at that point No, exactly. Which is why, realistically, if we want more Red Dead games, we have to go back, back. in time. We yeah. Yeah, we can't go forward. I mean, they could probably do one to, like, kind of send it off, which would be, like, Jack walks into, like, actual, like, reality and, like, just joins the rest of the world. Moves to New York. Oh, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and talk to Hosea. So hear me out. I don't think we can really go forward past like 1914 or anything because technically you start getting into like the mafioso era I mean, also, of American that's like history, the first... and they already have like a mafia game for that. Is that made by Rockstar? I don't know if it's necessarily made by Rockstar, but, but I yeah, mean, like, there's already uh, a you know mafia, mafia era games. franchise. Yeah. I think the closest Rockstar did was L.A. Lenore. Yeah. So, like, and that would be kind of, like, the next era. Or unless that's number two. Unless that's uh, the Second World War. I can't remember. It's after World War Two, but still. But, yeah, um... Here could be the crazy kicker. What? The, de the detective in L.A. Lenore is somehow Jack's like granddad not to say they could even tie it but like just in a weird retrospect possibly that is a very big stretch like i don't well, I'd, think i'd come to think of that jack would be like as the cowboy era ends jack and like jack pretty much like moves to like california or something like that and like joins society I don't know, that's why, like, yeah, they can't really go past the first, yeah, because the first one, now they just have to go backwards. Which, to me, makes the franchise and, like, the timeline just weird. Because now we're just, like, getting prequels instead of sequels. No, exactly. So it's just like, hmm. 
games are like deciding like you know what if we just hit them with the big cliffhanger in the beginning and then everything's just a story of going back in time and learning what led up to this and it's like interesting Um, I'll be right back, folks. I just need to go check on my laundry, so. You'll be back, folks. But don't worry, I am here. It shouldn't be more than five minutes. I got spurs that jingle, 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 jingle. All right, I'm back. Oh, there we go. There we go. Yeehaw. Fellas, I have a meeting with Mrs. Braithwaite. My associates are already here. All right, that's enough. Move along now. Okay. I can do that. Sir? This way, sir. A gentleman to see you, ma'am. So, your friend, the other liquor vendor. Hello. Hello, ma'am. Uh, Arthur, welcome. We were just playing cribbage. Arthur Morgan, Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. Nice to see you again. Apparently. So this one, he is big and as dumb as he looks? <laughs> well, he's surely big. But his intelligence is a matter of some conjecture. Some say he is as dumb as he looks, but I think, well, he's not quite that dumb. So these are the boys going to Caliger Hall? Yes, we can take care of that for you, but 
One hates to be coarse. There is the question of money. <laughs> oh, we've got money, Mr. Matthews. Hey, Mr. Mr. Matthews. <laughs> she ain't gonna pay you with a certified check, you Yankee numbskull. Ain't childbirth just the most beautiful miracle on earth? Seems a lady can birth monkeys, after all. Mm -hmm. oh, that's great. Hop on. Oil fill you in on the way. No, I'm driving. Fine. Just get back on the bloody horse. All right, let's get this over with. <laughs> you was quiet in there. Took everything I had. That son of horse. Got a cargolina home. I shoved that silver spoon down his throat and pulled it clean out of his ass. The smug fucker. Okay. So what she got us doing at the Gray's place? She wants us to torture tobacco fields. Said they ain't had rain in weeks round here. What? Yep. Using that back there. Moonshine? Burns faster than kerosene, that stuff. Said it'd be fitting, she did. Not I thinking this hell about I toy fitting my boot up your hook. No, just snotty old bitch. Jose <laughs> oh, really picked the right fella for tea at the manor, didn't he? Ah, oh, he was giving his usual flannin'. One of these families got gold stashed somewhere, he reckons. I mean, I'm all for sticking it to rich folks. I hate rich folks. But they really better be some bloody money at the end of all this. Jose knows what he's doing. Does he, though? The master finagler of nothing. Easy, easy. So far, we've destroyed the Braithwaite still. Tried to sell the shine back to them. Now we're on this fool's errand, which I'm very much looking forward to, by the way. They were saying old man Greg's double security after that business at the saloon. So, we're just gonna drive on in there, is that it? Don't worry. I got a plan. Wagons go in and out of there all the time with supplies. Equipment, payroll, especially now they're taking on all that extra muscle. We're making a delivery. That's all. Just leave it to me. I can talk a dog off a meat wagon. <laughs> all right then. All right then. Almost there. Yeah. Where's the bear? Yeah. Uh, the other people's place. Ah. Yeah. The place with the people and the things and the stuff. Where there's people. Hold up a second. Is that where the girls trapped in the English. Excuse me? outhouse? Uh, no, that was the place that we just came from. Yeah, That's at the Braithwaite's. Well, yeah. You. yeah. Maybe you're right. Maybe you're right. You know what? Here. I'll go hide and back. If you can act naturally and stop us from getting into a fight before we're ready. I will try. Yes. Try and do an impression of a human being. But I'm not going to go that far. <laughs> oh yes, I love that I have to sit here and wait. Do they not see my guns poking out of the tarp? We're here. Stay with In my hat. Or you do the talk. Just a little bit, but like, it's in the front, so I don't even, like, I notice, but like, them up front wouldn't notice. What you want, boy? I've, I've, there, there was a ting, a, a, a ting at the saloon. 
What you talking about? Well, I'm delivering the supplies. You're not the usual driver. Uh, you want a bottle, friend? Here. Uh, I'm doing a wee the drop. <laughs> We're not the usual driver. I know. Uh, I mean no harm. Uh, I, I've come from Donegal in, in Ireland. You don't say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they said you'd understand. Uh, some kind of incident at the saloon in town. I was told to bring this up here. Ask no questions, I'll tell you no lies. Uh, sort of business, eh? Uh, uh, before the officials got there, okay. they said. Okay. Drive this way. I'll show you how to get there. Oh, thank you, friend. Uh, have a drink. Sean. He hops in the cart. <coughs> Hamish. What Dabnin just really thinking is <laughs> pop through the tarp, stab him a few times in the fine neck, and hide back in the tarp. I'm not as fine as Connemara, but fine nonetheless. My people come from Scotland. Is that right? And you and I are nearly brothers. <laughs> <laughs> Stash the body in the back. Do you know what happened to our guy? No, I have no idea. Just over here. Uh, straight down the path here. It's getting so I can barely keep track of all these deliveries coming in. Yeah, and they said they was looking for more drivers in town. I jumped at the chance. I ain't never been a feather to kick a bit of honest work out of bed. <laughs> so, you folks been having a hard time of it, have you? Yeah, Mr. Gray's got a heap of problems right now with another family around here. A bunch of covetous lowdowns trying to sabotage his livelihood. Disgusting. Oh dear, oh dear. I'm sorry to hear that, Hamish. Sounds like you definitely deserve that drink. <laughs> you don't know the half of it. Just in there. Just in there. Richard. <laughs> you can unload it here. In here? Oh, <laughs> the horse is like a, a swift one, <clears throat> do they? <laughs> Excuse me? Um, nothing. It's grand. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, quite a place you yeah. boys have got here. <laughs> Reminds me of one of them big houses uh, out in Donegal. Huh. Real fancy place as they was, Hamish. Real fancy. What? Walks through the freaking tent? Oh, yeah, don't worry about me over here. Quite the fanciest places imaginable, eh? Axe throw. Mm. Throw the axe. Average man sups on shite, yeah? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Okay, yeah. <laughs> no. Come on, Arthur. What are you playing at? I was enjoying the monologue. I'm glad I'm not your brother. Well, uh, let's get on with this. I'm not the one who was done. Yes, he just took him out. Yeah. Okay. We can hold up in here till it gets dark. I, I was hoping I could go around the horses. <laughs> How you getting on? Good. Nearly got these things ready. Okay. There's plenty of guards out there. Here's how I feel we should deal with things. You head over to the dry barn. Sure. And you? I'm gonna deal with the fields themselves. We coat everything in moonshine. And we light things up with these little fellas here. Thankfully, it ain't rained. And that old barn over there should go up like a torch. <laughs> How many of these boys you think you need? They should do it. <laughs> Let's head out the back. Look, once they get wind of us, there'll be no turning back, so move quickly. Of course. I'm rebel stock, boy. I was barred running down my houses. Oh, burn quietly. Someone coming on the left. Huh. Oh, hey. Well, I, I thought the wagon already arrived. This one didn't. Strange. So, what you got there? Tools, payroll. Okay. Drop it by the supply shed at the back of the field. Sure. See you later. 
You hear that? Payroll. Yeah. Let's get this job done first, okay? Just let me deal with our friend here. Yeah, you do that, Sean. You do that. Oh, okay. What's he doing? He just stabbed that man in the throat. Try to stay out of trouble. Rockstar and their angry Irishman. I know. That reminds me of Patrick and his brothers. Now I gotta pour it through this field. Next. this field. Oh, that's something I can get him with a throwing knife. I'm gonna douse this too. Up. 
Yoink. Would you look at that? <laughs> now let's go light ourselves a fat cigar. You ain't leaving here. You pay for that. Sean, what are you doing way over here? Oh, no, I just got ran over by a horse. Okay, Sean, I got you. I'm trying to, Sean. I'm trying to. There's just a lot of people shooting at us. There it is. Maybe they haven't unloaded that cash yet. This is what it's all about. Oh, Arthur. Glad you're having fun. All right, come on. We'll take those horses. We're there. See if the payroll was actually in there. Hurry up. Let me cut it free. Oh, boy. We did good, Morgan. We did good. Great, but well, let's go. Oh, okay, the horse is fast now. Okay, let's get the hell out of here fast. Do right, follow me. Sean, let's go. Jesus, that turned into a right party. You call that a party? That freight weight had got our money's worth, Arlie. Let's just get out of here Come first. On. Dutch has put us into the middle of here. Uh, 
I hope him and Jose are right and that there's some money at the end of it. Well, what now? Head on back to camp. You coming? Sure. Friendo. Yeah. I'm gonna say one word. And I want you to explain to me what memory comes rushing back. Alright. Ever clear. I mean what uh who was was someone asking about this? Yeah, uh the missus is kinda wanting to try it. And I'm just like, mm, I, I don't know how to explain that to her. I heard you like to go from zero to a thousand in under a minute. Yeah. Like. Woo. It's like, you want to be hit with bricks? Repeat it. Because you're about to. Because you're about to. I didn't even take a whole one. Nor could I even get it down. And it's. I was oh, still. Now, yet, Dutch? He took of three. I'm sweating. We're in some I don't even know if he remembers afterwards. Uh, I, I remember know. parts what of it. Like falling down the stairs. Is such, but maybe a little gentle perspiration. <laughs> and the only stairs are the ones outside. Too much harm and wasting good liquor on sweating. So. So. I think you should oh, man. pay Mr. Trelawney a visit and find out exactly what he knows. And who he spoke to. Take Charles with you. That's like oh, I didn't even have time to have anything with it. I just took it and then I was gone. Secrets. It was over. Okay. And you were I'm gone sorry. most of the day too. You were just elevated. <laughs> Charles. Yeah, you I need you, you want to like you town. need your to go by faster. Okay. Yeah, take a few of those once, take one of those once a day, and then it'll be the next day. Of course. That stuff so strong you can put it in your gas tank. I know. There's something wrong there. Mm. The chemicals are melting on my tongue. You're drinking gasoline, sir. Basically. So like you were saying before, Dutch wants us to have a talk with Trelawney. A talk? About these bounty hunters who are coming for us. Hoping he can tell us who they are or where they're coming from. Okay. And you're deputies now. I mean... Something like that. Yeah. Soon as we laid eyes on that fool of a sheriff who runs what out chaser? Town, I knew Dutch How do you get the chase? Like a fiddle. On the run from one bunch of lawmen, working for another. Doubt. Interesting. Hiding in plain sight, Dutch. You know the song they sing, "Let the body hit the floor." <laughs> yep. So, the bodies were hitting the good. floor. In the new camp, I mean. We got some space between us and that mess now. I ain't seen no more Pinkertons for a while. There's these bounty hunters, of course, but Dutch don't seem too worried about it. Can't believe they're still coming after us. We didn't even get away with the money. Yeah, but they don't know that. Of course. Trelawney. I've only met him a couple times, but he's... he's a strange one. Fear not. He's just a cockroach in fancy britches. Fancy he gets into nooks and crannies, the rest of us can't. We just need to find him before he It's like they were just him. making regular vodka, and they're like, you know what? This ain't good enough. We need something stronger. And then they made the Everclear. 
And they're like, yeah. This puts hair on your chest. Puts hair on your everything. And then it kills you a little bit. It's a liquid melatonin for adults. Let's take a look. Someone got here first. Ah, uh, somebody got here first. Oh no. So it seems. Trelawney. By the looks of things, it wasn't a social call. Check the house. Gone. Shit. This don't look good. Well, he clearly ain't here, so where is he? Hmm. Let's take a look around. See anything there? Bed's a clue. not made. So he must have been here recently. Big struggle. Pretty recently, I'd say. I guess maybe. Twelve hours ago? But no body? Not yet. Hmm. Look. <sighs> Tracks. Oh, okay. Come on. He found something. You all right, girl? Hmm. They went down the path here. How's your tracking these days? All right, I guess. Hmm. Well, lead the way then. What did we stop for? I don't know. What are we looking for? Not the kind of place I'd expect to see Trelawney staying in. No? Normally scams himself into the best hotel in... Oh. Hello? You know, when me and Javier went down with Trelawney to get Sean after the bar fight, I swear, he talked the whole way and never actually... <laughs> And never actually said a damn thing. I thought you knew. That's his special talent. They could be 20 miles away by now. We can track them that far if we need to. Depends on how much you want to find them. Yeah. I still ain't sure about that. Hey, look. They continue on the other side of the tracks. These tracks lead into the forest here. Hey, look. Let's go see what those fellers have to say. Excuse me. Yeah. Have you seen him? <clears throat> we're, uh, we're looking for our friend. I don't think he's here. <laughs> You seen a strange sort of feller, sort of formal? Strange, sure. Formal, nah. He uses a cane. Looks a lot like this one. Yeah. All right, you two. Where the hell is he? You both better get out of here. Come in. <laughs> <laughs> Trelawney. I don't know anything. Tell me where he is. You go to hell. You better tell me now, you son of a bitch. Okay. Okay, for Christ's sake. They took him to a cabin over by the cornfields. Which cornfields? Left. Down the path there by Braithwaite Manor. A 
should do it. Come on, let's go. Follow me. I think there's a way around so we don't have to go through the Braithwaite's place. Let's go. Yes. I've spent enough time there. After you, then. You okay? I'm good. What do you think they want with Trelawney? Could be any one of a hundred things. Just depends if any of them involve us. You think he'll talk? Of course he'll talk. He'd sell his own sister to save a train fare. He don't know how not to talk. He don't know where we're holed up, though. At least I don't think he does. I don't know why Dutch still deals with him. Always disappearing for weeks on end. He's got his uses, and, well, loyalty matters to Dutch. Of course. But is Trelawney loyal? Yeah, kind of. I guess Trelawney ain't exactly disloyal. Just got a big mm. mouth. Don't worry. If he talked, I'll goddamn find out what he said. <laughs> Nothing's ever sure. straightforward. Trelawney's involved. Learn that much. I mean, how much time have we wasted getting this fool out of trouble? He somehow manages to be both lucky and unlucky at the same time. <laughs> That's one way of looking at it. But he always finds some way to pay us back. Just when we think about cutting him loose, he brings us something big. I guess that's his special talent. Keeping fish on the line. Must be it. Oh, I like the polka dot horse. Ah, let's get you out of here. Come on, boy. Definitely reminds me of like a donation or this will be remembered like a good time. <laughs> Put the man down, gentlemen. Uh, 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 Is that a lot of them? I, I think so. Uh, so you're uh, alive. Allegedly. Well, don't worry, they won't. Okay, go get them, Arthur. I can handle this. Till I find you. Snicker just sends me a text. It's like he's like, I'm the one playing Minecraft now. We got one more, Charles.
here. Just dumped his gear. Look around. He can't have gone far. I have an idea. What? <clears throat> Let's burn all the corn. Keep searching. He's around here somewhere. We got done like, close enough. Hey, he's over here. Hey, he's over here. Not Maybe going into the damn cornfield. I know better. I was gonna say there's a guy right in the middle of it. Keep looking, Arthur. You must be close. Oh, it's Charles. Can I get in this wagon and double check from up here? Fine. We're gonna stand next to Charles. Hey, Mo. What? Get out of here. Where'd you even go for? He's not your friend. I'll give you. Come on. You should have taken the money. I know. I'm a fool. Oh, shit. Thank you. Of course. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Damn it, Arthur, be ah! Oh shit. Now we got trouble. Guns are coming from that barn. Come on. He's backing off inside. Get after him. I got you. Got him. Pop. You're right through the floorboards. 
<sighs> all right, let's go back for Trelawney. Oh, come on back then. You all right? Yeah. Never goes it was probably just, it's sure the only thing going. that was separating you from another level is really just some planks you're walking on. I wonder how much trouble he's brought with him. Uh, <laughs> guess we'll soon find out. Seems like we can't catch a break now, Arthur. Our luck's held this long. We got out of work. Grapes in this one. So I heard. <laughs> sure. What's government? Agents and bounty hunters to us. Ah, uh, I hope you're right. Mr. Trelawney, where are you? Over here, dear boy. Well, he's still here at least. Put your feet up, why don't you? You okay? Never finer. So, who was they? Uh, they were bounty hunters. Uh, attached to Cole Stoudemire. Okay. They weren't looking for me, per no. se. What you tell them? Not much. I told them I was... An intellectual. Come down here from Oregon. Looking for a job at the university. Of course, they didn't believe me. Seems you stirred up quite a hornet's nest in Blackwater. So I keep hearing. It might be best if I stay with you gentlemen for a while. Can't go back to that caravan now. All right, Charles. You take Trelawney back to camp. I'll catch up with you. Okay. Bounty hunters, Pinkertons, lawmen. Everywhere we go, there's more and more civilization. Perhaps this is it from now on. We shall see, I guess. The medicine man, huh? Help with the mystery box? I will owe you my whole life. No lie. But... Heck yeah. Uh, let, let me buy you something from the store. Whatever you want, it's on me. <laughs> okay. Appreciate it. Having conquered East the way I have, it's a leap. What can I do for you? Yeah. Guy with the snake bite yeah, says well, I can put know, some here on his tab. That fool? Jesus. If it's not one thing, it's another with him. But he pays his owe, so who am I to argue? Let me know what you choose. I'll add it to his list. I'll let him know. You're paying next time, though. I like that, the uh, how manly the beer tonic makes you look. I know, right? Especially in the, like, last photo, it's like, you too could look like Jesus himself. It's like, Kelly, yeah. my guy, you could use some hair tonic. <laughs> Not you, the shopkeeper. No, oh, I know. Okay, so long. That guy needs it more bad than anybody. Pick something up on your tab. And then it's like kind of oddly Thank lit in you. here. Thank you. I know. What you do? Pay that man's tab? No, he let me get something on his tab because I saved him. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah.
Ah, uh, yes, back into the wilderness. You know, I still think that the first one needs a redo. With how good the second one looks. Yeah, but Rockstar doesn't want to do that for us. Dude, no company wants to do anything nice for us. Bethesda, Bethesda doesn't want to give us a remake of, or a remaster even of, New Vegas. See, and there was a leaked email between Microsoft and Bethesda um, mentioning a Fallout 3 remaster, but I know we're never going to get that. I think I'd, I could see that happening more quicker than I would a New Vegas one, because since Bethesda owns 3 more than they own Obsidian... Well, I guess they own Obsidian, but like that just means that theirs is better. And Todd's... Todd's not that way. You can't admit defeat. Nah, I don't want to talk to Micah, but... I want my gun to talk to Micah. Micah? Micah. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called... Hey, Molly, where's Dutch? Well... However it goes. I'm not sure all that line of thought serves you and me very well. Uh, that's because, Cowpoke, you are a man of profoundly limited intelligence. No doubt. Well, you and the old man and Dutch have been running around, digging us ever deeper into shit. Old Mr. Pearson might have gone and lightened the load a little. Pearson! Ain't you curious? I guess. Gentlemen. Dutch, you tell him, fat man. It's peace, Dutch. The Adriscals. I mean, I think there's a way. What on earth are you talking about? Get the words out properly, fat man. I met a couple of the Adriscal boys on the road in the town, and things were about to get ugly. But you know how I am in a fight, huh? Like a corner tiger. <laughs> anyway, somehow it didn't, but we got to talking, and they suggested a parlay to end things like gentlemen. Gentlemen. Comb O'Driscoll. I somehow don't buy that here, so. You're always telling us, Dutch. You know what I like about living out here, too? Don't hmm. fight wars ain't worth fighting. They I hear the die. morning doves out here. It's a trap. Well, of course, it's probably a trap. But what do we got to lose finding out? Get shot. He ain't getting shot because you'll be protecting us. No. It's a trap. You shoot the lot of them. If it ain't a trap, that's slim chance. I don't see the point in any of this. It's a chance. We gotta take. We I gotta take. Holmes' brother. Long time ago. I killed then Holmes' killed brother. A long time ago. A woman I loved dear. Mm. But then he killed. As you say. A woman I loved dear. It's a long time ago. Dutch. Let's go. You and me, with Arthur protecting us, no one else. What about me? This ain't the time for tigers, my friend. up then Morgan let's go then you know I've been fighting comb for so long now I can barely remember a time when it was different you're still fighting him now. Make no mistake of that. Here he goes, Doubting Thomas. Is there any plan you ain't sour on? Well, maybe you're right. Just nervous. Let's not waste any more lives needlessly. I ain't costing lives here. I'm saving them. Sure you, you are, say? bud. We had Pinkertons coming after us. Because of Blackwater. And Leviticus Cornwall and his private army. Then, it, then who knows when this local hillbilly thing will come to a head, hmm? 
Can we really afford to be fighting on all these fronts? And O'Driscoll. There is wisdom in that. Uh, mm, I don't want to shoot him. Gentlemen, but like Careful. I said, I'm nervous. Look, you ain't even going to be the one in danger. We'll get up over there, find a nice perch for you to settle into. You got that rifle, don't you? Yeah, yeah. Man, how different the game would have just turned out if he would have been dead now. Dutch, we should have just left him in that jail cell. I will do my best. Oh, my dear and trusted friend, with you watching over me, I would walk into hell itself. As would I. From the look of them, I don't like having eyes on us. We're close. What did I just lose honor for? Soon enough. Maybe he's right, Dutch. Maybe I have pushed too hard. Got in a bad situation that could have been safer. I just I see all those mouths we gotta feed. Yeah, trouble for being a bad guy. I dream too big. Caring too much. That's my problem. Caring too much? There's no such thing. This is horse shit from both of you. It might be. Micah might be full of shit. Como Driscoll might, might be, full, be of shit. full of shit. The promise of this great nation. Men created equal. Liberty. Did the Driscoll brother already die? I always forget that. That might be not before the events of this game. But it's worth trying for. It is worth believing in. Can't you see that, friend? No. I don't know. Try. All I No, don't you like pick up one of the other ones? There's Calm, which we'll get to later on, but there is mention of another O'Driscoll brother, but he gets killed way before the events of this game. <laughs> oh, that was great. What the? What the hell? Oh, what? You gotta clip that. I just did. Good, cause like, and then your horse poops. Yeah. My horse has its priority straight. However, this shakes That's out. just to meet back at the fork in the comes road flying in on the stuff. Be there, Dutch got a little yeah. too excited. Dutch is like, I got plans to be doing. I got a plan, Arthur. Arthur, check this out. It's my plan. You don't understand how plan, how happy plans make this guy. Easy, easy. Why'd they all get off their horse? We're not even here yet. Dutch. Been a while. Sure. So, uh, how's your gang doing? They still believing in you? Better world. Pure world. Hm? How's that coming along? Just fine. Mm. How's that score you stole off us? Which one? <laughs> oh, I like that. Because, like I said, there's a charismatic leader. Which one? 
pot of heat on us this time. Both of us. A whole heap of trouble. They offered me a price, Dutch, to bring you in. Why didn't you take it? Well, it still might. I am sorry about your brother. Yeah, well, I never liked him much. I liked Annabelle. You always loved the ladies, Dutch Vanderlyn. I like that about you. What are we doing here? Go home. Is this thing over? So you always love the ladies, Dutch Vanderlyn. <laughs> They killed Shane. Can't even think of a name, just call them address call one or your school two. If this fella Colum's right, we can draw them all back. True. Where'd Colum and Patrick head off to? In a time, I think, to speak to the law. That has to be crap, it ain't worth them. He's escaping and shoot him! Relax! Relax. I got him. I got him. Did I kill you? Oh not yet. <laughs> no, of course not. Not yet. But I will. That honestly could have been the Ar end of Arthur right there? there, too. You know that hurt so good right in your ribs. <laughs> You're gonna make Daddy Dutch mad and he's gonna come down here and kill you. <laughs> Oh, 
I'm some like freaking ugly mask to me. Oh, that not hurt too. Right on your back. You know that feels so good. I don't want to go to Mexico. Hold on, I'll be back in a minute. What the hell? I want to go home. It's not like you know you could have, like, just walked down there and seen him from a distance. That he also wasn't hanging there, but you know, no, that's okay. We gotta go in and investigate. Boy, I got one throw fireball. What's he still doing down there? It's one thing torturing a man, it's another thing putting him through stories of the homeland. He better hurry it up. I don't want to be here when the law comes for that side of beef. You think you're gonna hit him from that far?
We're escaping, chat. We're escaping. I told you it was just set up to us. My boy, my dear boy, what? They got me. Well, I got away. Yeah, yeah, you did. Miss Grimshaw, I need help. Reverend Swanson. He's gonna set the law on us. No, oh, of course he was. I'm sorry, Arthur. It is a bit late for apologies. Swanson! Mr. Morgan, Mr. Morgan, you're safe now. Oh, let's get him to bed. Uh, uh, you are safe now, Arthur. I got you. You're safe now. Uh, that's pretty. <laughs> that's real pretty. Miss Grimshaw, will you sit with him a while? Of course. You'll be okay, Mr. Morgan. You're home. I'd be burying you, Mr. Morgan. Well, not quite yet, River. Good. How you feeling? Oh, about the same as you. I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> well, take care of yourself. You too. Trucking along just fine. Mr. Morgan. Mr. Morgan. Yes, Reverend. Do you think the Pinkertons are finally gonna kill us? <sighs> Perhaps. I'm so worried. Oh, we'll do the Trelawney mission. It's right here. Are you busy, Arthur? Why? Well, I know you think I'm just some effete buffoon. A what? A man of words and not of action. Hardly a man at all. Well, I think you're as slippery as an eel in an oil slick, but still a man. Because I think I've... I've found something interesting. Yeah? Have you ever robbed a stagecoach? No, never. Well, who would have even thought? Of course I robbed a goddamn stagecoach. You know I have. And... What's the problem with stagecoaches? 
The armed man attempting to put a bullet in your head? Not quite. The well, odds. I mean, is fair. it worth the robbing? Sometimes. I know. But, well, if you'd like to come with me, I can introduce you to a new best friend, and he's he's going to give you all the decent, robbable stagecoaches a hot-blooded degenerate could require. Well, I could require a whole lot. So where do we find this friend of yours? Roads. Because what can possibly go wrong there? Well, lead the way and we'll find out. And we're off. You sure seem to have got about round here. You know me. I like to make friends in low places. How the hell you end up <laughs> down here anyway? I could ask the same of you. I have a few commitments over this way. Some expenses to meet. Expenses? What expenses? Gentlemen's canes and rabbits to pull out of hats? Among other things, I had quite a nice little business going for a while. Shares in a gold mining company. Excellent returns for the investor of a certain financial standing. Until, well, that unfortunate run-in with the law. Yeah, that's how it goes. That Thanks is how it goes, right? on us during that Sean business, by the way. I'd done my part. Each to their strength, dear boy. You know... You boys should really watch yourselves with those two families. This is a small town. People talk. I tried to mention it to Osea, but you know how he is. Anyway, True. while they're off chasing their pot of Confederate gold hidden at the end of some rainbow, let me present you with something real. So, where exactly are we going? The train station. The clerk there, Alder, is quite a fellow. Here quite a fella. We can hitch up outside. I'll make the introductions, Arthur. I have gone to Trelawney. <coughs> Come right. on. Hang back a bit and let me do the talking. We don't want to scare him off. Oh, wow, it is bright in here. My lord. Hello, Alden. Hello, Josiah. How have you been? Dandy. And you, friend? Like I said, times are tough. My missus is a bad woman. Terrible woman. They often are. But how's work, Alden? Terrible. Wages got cut again. They reckon they just invented a new horse's carriage will be the end of us. <laughs> They've been saying that nonsense since they invented the wheel. The witness of bosses. I know. My comrades here and I are greatly discouraged from the adequate fulfillment of our duty. A discouraged man is no man at all, Alden. No man at all. My friend Arthur here has a present for you. Here. Ain't you kind, sir? Call him Arthur. He's one of us, a fellow man of distinction. Okay. Well, this is perfect timing. I think you'll like this one, Josiah. What are we doing? We're coming south down the river road. Southbound from, from the river. Strand. Thank from you. Stiltwater all. Strand. Thank you very much. Ten four. Copy oh, that. And Josiah, if you or Arthur are ever out Strawberry Way, ask for my colleague there. Feller called Hector. He's also one of the. What did you call us again? Discouraged men, Alden. That's it. Discouraged men. I like that. Well. Goodbye, Alden, or should I say, adieu. Oh, adieu, Josiah. All right. What the hell was that? I thought you might like to see that pantomime. 
River Road through Siltwater Strand, he said. Okay. I think I know a good spot to wait. Follow me. Okay, my horse is right okay, here. Then, girl. <laughs> oh, okay, we rooting this toot in this cowboy. Alright. Down, 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 down. What did I tell you? Simple as can be. Seems a lot of the station workers are in on it these days. Earning a pittance, the unions are whipping them up, so they want something on the side. Like he said, there, strawberry. Could create a lot of opportunities for a man in your line of work. Ooh, it could. I ain't sure about going back to Strawberry after all that market business. Didn't sound like you left anyone alive to recognize you, so I wouldn't worry too much, dear boy. All this trouble, you gentlemen are becoming quite the celebrities, aren't you? Soon you'll be on the front of a dime novel. And dead, of course. We're hoping to be long gone before that. Dutch. Dutch has a plan. If anything goes wrong, let's meet back here at this crossroads. Okay? That's not what I wanted to do. Uh. This is the spot. Oh. We are here. Okay. This should do. Sure. Here. I'm hoping we won't need those. Uh, better safe than sorry. What were you thinking? Well, according to this, the loot is located in a strong box, which is in the back. I'll put on a little performance, and you can scurry around, open the strong box, and relieve them of their goodies. And how do I open the strong box without threatening someone to open it for me? This should work. <laughs> and I can do this silently? Well, I'm hoping complete silence won't be necessary. But you're going to wish you had your earplugs. This is Damson. Oh, very Mrs. good. Mrs. Damson. Of course, if anything goes wrong, you can wave your guns around like you normally do. Hold tight. They'll be here soon. There it is. Right on time. Let's go. Keep your distance so they don't see you. And please leave that gun in its holster for once. All right. I'm going to stay a couple of paces back. My horse here. Oh, 
I'm looking for him. Which one? Uh, 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 I don't know. Miss Damson, you owe it to West Stillwood. Yeah, we did that chat. We did that. Mr. Suit and Tie Man. You're right, good sir. Well done, sir. Well done. It was easy. You did all the work. Teamwork, my dear boy. Teamwork. Here you go. Thank you. Oh. It's always good. Go see Alden from time to time. See you soon, Arthur. Is that bounty hunters across the way? It is. Two of them. Oh, they disappeared. We'll start a camp. We'll cook up some of this meat I got in my inventory. Delicious. Some yarn. And tear down camp. It's 
stay. Let's clean this guy up. I know they're nearby. There we go. Okay, that's how I do that. Uh, what you doing tomorrow? Hmm, nothing. I probably have to clean the room tonight, but that's about it. Thick horses. The tackling and the punching has always been my favorite part of this game. Cause I, cause like I had to reload and I'm just like, well, you know what? We're just gonna do this instead. You know what? Now you don't have a head, sir. Yep. Now you're just another Keith Ledger on the floor. Damn Keith bounty Ledger. hunters thinking they can start stuff with me. I'll just show him Kurt Cobain's microphone. And it's like, even if I didn't use the saw off, the other one would have done the same thing. They all do the same thing. Keep back. That's over. Just shut up. You don't know me. Big talk from a small head. If you guys hear any noise in the background, that's uh, me making sure the Geiger counter is working properly. I don't think we'll hear it. Um, where's this next mission? John. Oh, I've turned around and go through all that tunnel's bodies. Cool. That means I can continue to bully that man on the horse. Where, boy? Dumb. 
done good, girl. Yeah, you good, girl? Alright, we're off. I didn't want to mean... I, I didn't realize I'd wounded the horse critically. I thought it was the man that I wounded. I'm not gonna let that horse wait outside to shoot it. Like you boys had some trouble. <sighs> yeah, we had some trouble. Bad trouble. What you want? Oh, I was supposed to meet some business partners here. They arranged a meeting, I believe. Fellow with a scar and a Mexican? Yes, sir. Out by the stables, I think. Thank you. And, uh, sorry for your troubles, friend. Everybody. And there's troubles everywhere. And have you met my partner, Arthur Morgan? No. I met your son, the sheriff. Okay. Mr. Gray here was saying how he had problems with a family. A family of degenerates. Oh, well, nobody likes degenerates. The hag and her inbred sons. They ruined this county. They killed my uncle, you know. And that ain't right. Problem is we they can't killed my uncle, you know. Too close. And we've got gold, Yankee. We've got gold. I ain't no Yankee, friend. I ain't nothing. My daddy came over on the boat from Scotland. I'm Scottish. And the Braithwaites? Goddamn peasants. I don't know. Mongrels. Slave fuckers. All you gotta do is look at them. How much gold? Enough. These are prized horses I'm talking about. Them, they'll get you... 5,000. 5,000? For horses? Easy. And where do we sell them, these $5,000 horses? Over in Clemens Cove. Fellow over there will run them out of state and give you 50 cents on the dollar. Mister, you got yourself a deal. It's Let's a keep trap. Us away from this. Publicly, I mean. My sense is we keep all horse wrestling away from the public. Go to the stables on the south side of the manor. That's where they keep the thoroughbreds. Interesting. Now we're gonna be horse thieves. Thieves of the horse variety. I'm the liquid. Crazy old fool. If he only knew it was us who torched his tobacco crop. That was you? The old man was cursing the Braithwaite's about that. Burning rich folks' property. Sean was like a pig and shit. <laughs> Talking to Sean. He said to give you a message to meet him, Bill, and Micah in town as soon as you can. Some other job they got going with the Graves. Another one? Uh, okay. I'll go see what they're up to when we're done with this. Ooh, yeah. Let's I'm gonna get those one. fuzzy pink purple seat covers tomorrow. Place Heck yeah. Well guarded, so there ain't no point in blasting in there. We'll make them think we're there looking to purchase. I think. I Three think. armed men? You'd be armed if you were about to spend five thousand on horses. 
could go in the Since back I'm going to town, I'm gonna need Boy, too many questions. a whole new mod. It's gonna be a day to Good girl. Careful. There's a guard. I'll speak to him, okay? All right, then. What are you doing? Can I help you, gentlemen? Yeah, we're here to see about some horses. Horses? Yeah, we had a, an appointment with Mr. Braithwaite, I believe. Yeah, I never heard about any of this. Apart yeah, I never heard about any of this. Significant investment. It's you know what I'm saying, man? You know what I'm saying. You know saying. <laughs> but perhaps we should look elsewhere. Well, I... Okay, then. Let's head on up to the stables. Someone will come see you. Nice and easy. We got this. That's it. Nice and easy. No need to rush. We don't want to draw any unnecessary attention. That's the stables just up ahead. Heads down, play cool. We'll head around the front, hitch up there. All right, let's hitch up here. We're here about some horses. Let me do the talking. Howdy, mister. you boys I hope so heard you got some horses we always got horses fine horses I mean I don't get you friend yeah you do come on listen why don't you get out of here you scarface and your greaser buddy whoa I don't like officials we ain't officials we're connoisseurs looking to do some breedings come on now partner come okay on, fine now, follow partner. me these here's mainly the studs available for purchase or for working if that's what you're interested in what is your boys interested in we represent a famous uh, stable and stud farm from uh, saratoga is that so unofficially of course well, this here's cerberus there you go boy cerberus a hot greaser huh okay bandana oh. don't need nobody recognizing us all right, I'll grab the white one in the middle. You get the other two. Relax, boy. Come on. Good boy. Easy, easy. Easy now. Marston, you're going to tether him up to Javier's horse. Okay. Javier, you're going to lead the stallions. Take it easy. Easy, boy. There we go. Wait. Marston, you ride point. I'll cover up the back. If there's any problems, we regroup at Clemens Cove. Okay. What are you doing? Let's go. Hey, what are you doing? Get that guy jump scared me. Up. You know what time it's for? Or what time it is? Lancaster repeater and some yellow shotgun. Stop! We're being robbed!
go. Escaping. We're doing it. Think we're clear. No, look out. Small, I'm on the road. Almost Come there. Hey Morgan! Over here! You got him! Well done! Clemens Cove is just over there. Come on. Let's get this over with. Well, that could have gone smoother. That'll be on my gravestone. Let's see if it is. <laughs> You think they look like they're paying 5,000 for horses? I guess we'll see. You think after want. this mission, I'm gonna call heard it. Heard you was, uh, heard you pay good prices for horses. Oh, we'll buy more or less anything, Pop. That so? Sure, Pop. I'm Clay Davies. That's my brother Clive. We're twins. John, Arthur, Javier. So what are you, Cuban? No, I don't like Cubans. That so? Maybe. Why, what do you care? You ain't Cuban. Maybe I like Cubans. <laughs> Ooh, you're funny. He's funny. Ain't he funny, Clive? Clive don't talk. We're twins, but I was born first. He came out all yellow and black, but he's okay. Ah. Sure. Yeah, I know these horses. They ain't yours, but I like you, and I'll give you... I'd give you 650 for them. <laughs> I was told we could get up to $5,000 for them. And I was told the moon was made of ladies' tears. Only it ain't true. Not one little bit. But... I like you boys. But I ain't got more than 700 on me. You want it? Or you want to ride them fellers into town? And maybe someone there will hang you. We're gonna need more than that. I ain't got no more money, Pop. Here, take it or leave it. Uh-huh. All right, you goddamn fool monster. Ain't no one around here got $5,000, boys, but nice meeting you. <laughs> See you boys again, I hope. Come on. I hope. Yeah. Close the gate, Clive. Leave.
received a yarn spun us by one of that Gray family. Imagined we was gonna be wonderfully rich. <sighs> At the end of it, we felt like prize idiots. <laughs> Well, folks, that's it for the stream. Thank you for coming out. We got a lot done today. Um, t t I will be streaming tomorrow. I'm still in the works trying to figure out what that's going to be. Um, t t t Thursday's Baked Banana. I'd have to look in Discord real quick. Um... Friday is Final Fantasy XIV. Saturday is the Fallout Episode 1 review. Sunday is Pokemon. Um, Monsieur Banana, do you have anything to say to the masses? Stay safe. Stay hydrated. Well, join our Knights of Rent. Join our Discord. It's a pretty cool place. We hang out. We got a lot of channels. It's we how, got stuff for a little bit for everybody. It's how you, the fans, can interact with us, the content creators. And other fans as well. So, um, with all that being said, folks, thanks for hanging out with us. Until next time, y'all. Um, until then, like, subscribe, ding the bell. We'll be pushing that content for you. Um, peace.